Hello and happy Friday to everybody out there. I just wanted to follow up on last week's episode where I talked about the new Apple Lightning connector which replaces the dock connector as the standard for all iOS devices. If you missed that episode, I'll include a link where you can go and check it out. Over the past week, there's been a lot of new information about the Lightning connector, including its cost, its availability, and its complexity. So this week, someone working for Double Helix Cables disassembled their Lightning cable and found some interesting information that they shared with AppleInsider.com. Apparently there's a proprietary authentication chip inside the cable that may make it difficult for some of the Chinese knockoff manufacturers to copy the cable right away. The full story behind the authentication chip isn't known yet, however it's already pushed back the ship date for most of the knockoff manufacturers that claim to have a lightning adapter ready to go. So from what I've seen online by experts who are in the know, any manufacturer that claims to have a lightning adapter ready to ship between now and the end of the year is pretty suspect, so be careful of that. As was announced during the iPhone 5 product launch, the lightning connector is actually reversible and therefore will fit into your iOS device no matter which way it's facing when plugged in. The same report by Double Helix suggests that the authentication chip actually dynamically assigns the pins as the connector is plugged into the iOS device. So the onboard chip actually assigns functions to each pin the moment that it's inserted into the iOS device. Imagine pins that serve no specific purpose until the moment that it's connected to a device. This really cool out-of-the-box thinking is what helped Apple miniaturize the lightning connector and also what made it reversible. This dynamic pin mapping is going to open the door for a lot of future innovation where specific pins can be assigned specific functions depending on the device it's being connected to and the specific task at hand. This is truly a smart cable and it's going to allow Apple and its partners to create some awesome products in the future. For me, knowing a little bit more about the inner workings of the lightning connector helps justify the cost and also shows that Apple is looking far into the future with the design of this component. It may be a while until we see a $2 lightning connector on eBay or Amazon that's truly legit. So for now, be very weary if you see anything that's too cheap or too good to be true online. You don't want to damage your iPhone 5 or void your warranty or anything. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit the like button if you did like this episode. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave me a message. See you next time. Click here to subscribe.